G'day Throttlers and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I've been invited to the Dykes on Bikes bike show and tattoo show and in fact I've been asked to be a guest judge for the day for the bike show as well so uh, I've just arrived all of the team are arriving on their bikes let's go in and uh, and have a look around for having me. Um, I'm Kendall, the secretary of Dykes on Bikes. Um, we're at the Bike and Tattoo Show, which um, has been sponsored by Inner West Council. It, we have an aeroplane flying over, which is typical for the Inner West. So um, yeah, we're at the Bike and Tattoo Show for Dykes on Bikes. We've been running this event for many years, but it's the first time back after COVID, so it's exciting to have it. Um, we're at a massive venue, um, the Portugal Madeira Club in Marrickville, um, and we've got a plethora of bikes here, we've just got um, judging going on for the tattoo comp inside. And yeah, it's just an awesome day, um, fun to have all our members here. We've got um, Mardi Gras season coming up at the moment, so this is sort of like our first, Dykes on Bikes first official event. Um, and then we'll be sort of on it for the next month or so with every weekend, both days, something on. Um, so we're sort of exhausted, but super excited and pumped. So yeah, it's awesome. Mardi Gras, I think we're probably going to have around about 300 bikes. Wow. Um, and then you've got obviously a rider and then some of them have got pillions on. So for the committee that's a lot of bikes to sort of, we have to document a lot of details for the Mardi Gras parade team and also for New South Wales Police. And you've got to register each rider and pillion, they've all got to be members. Um, they need wristbands, they need everything. <laughs> and um, if you know anything about the lesbian community, they're always very demanding as well. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get yeah, a bunch of, a, a group of people together, um, which are also you know, bike enthusiasts, but it's a bloody long day. Um, for us, we're sort of queuing from about midday onwards, and then the parade doesn't happen until seven o'clock at night, so it's a long day outside in the sun with a lot of waiting around. Yep. But then an awesome rush of excitement as we get to ride down the parade route twice, because we get to do it in the wrong direction, and then we do a U-turn, then we come back and all the rest of the parade floats following cool. behind us. That's very cool. So yeah, it's awesome. We're actually a, a fully fledged motorcycle club that do monthly rides. Um, some of them are sort of short little rides where we encourage learners and pee platers to come along. Um, some of them are much longer rides. Um, occasionally we do even do a weekend away. So just, you know, and we sort of tend to, the events are run by, because we've got eight committee members at the moment, that most of those live in the inner west, but some are on the outskirts. So I grew up in the Blue Mountains, so if there's a ride that's going out that way, then I'll be the ride leader for it and plan it. Um, and we also do a lot of other social events, exhibit this this event um, throughout the year and charity and yeah. So it's just it's yeah, motor, not an outlaw motorcycle club, but yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, so you can join. Join the club um, as an associate member or as a full member if you've got a motorcycle license. Uh, there's a lot of information on our website, so dykesonbikesydney.com.au. Just Google us, you can find us on Facebook or on Instagram as well. Um, ask a committee member, come along to one of these social events if you're not a member but you're interested in joining, have a chat to us. Buy some of our awesome merch. And yeah, we'll, we'll see you soon and you'll see us on TV. So. Yeah. <laughs>